Put people first PA. Some of them would nod, 
as if they supported it, but they didn't want to get involved in the work. Others would sticker or, 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 or kneel their head in shame like they wanted to pretend it didn't exist. And the thing about the Poor People's Campaign is it's not an organization. It's a movement, it's a vehicle, it's a campaign to where many different organizations can come together and be coordinated and organized together. We have a set of fundamental principles. And I, when I saw the folks this past summer rise up, I was so amazed. I was so amazed and so proud because I knew Lancaster had it in us. I'm not gonna lie, there was a time where I was like, I feel like Lancaster can lead this revolution. And I still feel that, like I'm not like, this is amazing. You know, I will say that although, like many of you, maybe didn't hear about the fight around St. Joseph, which started December 2018, you know, Nick was the sole PSL member, and it was a small group of us. And from that fight, we grew, and we actually, many people across this country, even though maybe the media hasn't really talked about it, but many people across this country, many different organizations, have heard our story and knows what's going on in Lancaster, and they have our backs. Many national organizations, even through the Poor People's Campaign through this fight. And when I saw the uprisings happening, I was like so, so like, yes, here we go. I knew this could happen, right? And, so, and when I'd be down there, I'd be in the space, and I so badly, so badly wanted to jump on the mic and tell the people about the Poor People's Campaign, but I held back. I held back because I saw many powerful people also surrounding you and already trying to also try to organize you and co-opt you and everything. So I stood back and I just monitored. That's what our group did. We just hung out. We talked to people. And that has now come to light. And I'm seeing more and more people develop a deeper sense of consciousness and that's beautiful. And we have got to come together. If we're going to fight and get health care for people, we got to fight and be organized. And we got to also understand the interconnection of the issues. And we got to understand how Lancaster City connects to Lancaster County, that connects to the state, that connects to the, na the nation, and connects globally. You know? Like, we got to actually bring that connection. And in our movement, we learn together, we study together, we study past revolutionary, revolutionary movements. We have political education, leadership development across all lines of division. And I guess what I want to kind of like ask and what I have hope for is that the many organizations here will at least consider possibly joining us in this fight because what we have coming up because we also, one of the things that our group did was we worked hard to establish a homeless union chapter through the National Union of the Homeless. And those folks need help getting organized. We don't need to speak for them. We need to organize them, right? We have a few members. And it's harder for them to organize because they're really severely struggling day by day. And we got to help them to organize so they can feel empowered too. And so right now, as far as Lancaster, the Poor People's Campaign, we have Poor People First, and we have the Homeless Union. But we can't do this work alone. we got to be coordinated and together. We have the Medicaid March that's taking place October 3rd. That's a national set of marches. It's about interconnecting the issues. We're going to be marching around St. Joseph Hospital and College Avenue. Don't worry, Donald Trump will take care of Okay, yeah, sure he will. And we'll be marching around St. Joseph Hospital October 3rd, Saturday at 3 p.m. And then starting from the starting from Thanksgiving Day all the way to Martin Luther King Jr. Day is gonna be what we refer to as the winter offensive. So we're gonna have massive strategic organized actions and other forms to counteract the narrative that happens around that time of year. They love us poor folks so much, they feed us on Thanksgiving Day, but they don't give a shit about us the day before and the day after. Yay! You know, Lancaster does that extraordinary give where they raise over $10 million in one day to all the nonprofits that just manage poverty. They don't fucking do anything about shit. So that, when I, that we got a mission down on French Street.
Street, the Water Street Mission, that sits there and literally dehumanizes people and uses religion to control them. We're done with that. We have members that have stayed there. We know. So that's what the winter offensive is about. And put people first in the homeless unit. We can't do this alone. We need to come together and we need all of you. And I just want to thank you for this time. Yeah.